Alrighty, this is just a video that I wanted to make really quickly because I have not heard back from Wendy's yet. Here's my story. I went to Wendy's last week. I got off of work. It was last Wednesday. And Wendy's is right across the street from where I work at. Wendy's to just go grab something to eat and head out to karaoke. It was me, Sean, and one of my guests from the hotel, and he didn't have a vehicle, so we were go going to bring him to go get something to eat through the drive-thru. Well, we pull up to the drive-thru, and the guy at the thing, he's just like, I'll be with you in a minute. And I'm like, alright, cool, whatever. So me and Sean start telling our friend a story that happened one time when we was at Burger King. It was really funny. Well, the guy at Wendy's, we hear, Look at a Burger King, bitch! Pause the story, rewind, did you just tell me to go to Burger King, and then call me a bitch? I think you just did. So I was like, what, what, like, he was like, oh, no, 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 I wasn't talking to y'all, I wasn't talking to y'all, I was talking to somebody else, uh, I, w I was like, dude, you were talking to us, obviously, we were just talking about Burger King, so, at least, I'll, you know, own up to it, whatever. So, being the crazies that we are, we... Whip our little car around the side of Wendy's. We pull up to the little window, and the girl's out the window. She's opening up the window. She's like, "Can I help y'all?" I'm like, "Uh, yeah. Your coworker just called us bitches and told us to go to Burger King." She's like, "No, he wasn't talking to y'all." I was like, "No, he clearly was talking to us." I said, "I need the number to corporate." So we get the little number off the window at uh, Wendy's. I called him that night, but nobody answered. But I called the next day and I tell them the whole story of everything that happened. And he was like, alright, I'm going to get with the, the manager at that Wendy's, let me know which one it is. I let him know. He was like, I'm going to have him get back with you. So I get a call from Tim, whoever Tim is, supposedly the manager at the Wendy's um, on Center Street. And he's like, yeah, I got a call from corporate, what's going on? So I tell him the story and he's like, oh, okay, I'm sorry about what happened. He was like, let, I'm going to give you a call back. Well, this is a week later, or well, a week and a day now, I still have no call back from him. Now, had this guy said what he said, and then was like, dude, I'm so sorry, I didn't even realize my mic was on, I apologize, you know, I shouldn't have said that, I would have let it go. But you sat here and still tried to lie about it when you were obviously talking to us. So, Wendy's, since y'all never called me back, y'all never did anything but say, oh, I'm sorry, let me just say something. When you're hiring people, stop hiring people that are freaking ghetto. Don't hire people who are going to tell your customers to go to competitors. And definitely don't hire people who are going to call your customers bitches. This is a Wendy's that I would go to very often because it's directly across the street from where I work at. I have not been back since and I probably will not go back because if I run into the same person who said this or a manager, I will probably lose my shit. I get a little crazy on these people. So, with that being said, Wendy's, I hope you take into consideration a part of what I have said. I am very... Bleh. And, only thing I got to say is... Ain't nobody got time for that!